Great features of using the Mendeley desktop is the ability to make edits, annotations, make notes to uh, your PDF files. So I'm going to use uh, an, an example here from my publications, and this example would apply to any of the PDFs, uh, regardless of the folder. But you'll notice here when you open up a document, it opens up another tab here at the top, and you can open up various uh, PDFs if you choose. You can continue on opening up as many as you'd like, and if you want to make annotations, you have different options here at the top. So uh, you have a pan option, and this just allows you to move up and down uh, the document. So if you want to highlight, you have this highlighting option, so you can select the text here. If you want to create a note, you have two options, or two ways you can do that. If you have your text highlighted, you can right-click and add a note here, and add your note accordingly, and then you can also move it around if you'd like, or you can click note here and click on wherever you'd like to uh, add the note. And uh, you'll notice here at the right hand side of your screen under notes, you'll notice that the notes appear here. Uh, the highlights do not, however, and I think I've, I've made requests to have highlights uh, appear but so far they do not appear. So if you want information to appear here in uh, details or on the right hand side, you'll have to add notes. Uh, select is a nice feature. You can uh, select uh, text and you can have, uh, have the word defined. And uh, you can select the text. If you want to copy certain text to other uh, applications, you can use the select tool. And you can also add notes and copy as well. It gives you an option here. Uh, you can copy. You also have icons here to copy and paste, rotate, zoom, and full screen. Uh, but this gives you a lot of options here to add information and you can also just write general notes under the notes option uh, in this space. So here you can toggle between notes and uh, you can go back here and find the notes uh, under this option. And under details most of this information populates automatically, but you can always go back and add, for example, the abstract or any other information that happens to be missing. The URL is always a good idea, even if you have the PDF, to keep the URL just uh, in the event that you lose the PDF. But I, I would recommend always to uh, fill out this information here as well, the details that, uh, that is not automatically populated when you bring in documents. And I'll create another video uh, to show you different options on how you can bring in PDF files to the Mendeley desktop.